to welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel covering Stallion Discoveries. This is a very interesting uh, exploration and discovery company, uh, and they have properties in the prolific uranium district of the Athabasca region in Canada, as well as some gold properties here in the U.S. Uh, of note. They just finished their survey work, and we are anticipating that those uh, surveys uh, results are actually provided back to the grander audience, and I thought it fitting to offer a video as a primer to that information. Why do I do that? The stock has kind of fallen out of favor. Uh, the company has been on a land acquisition uh, spree. It has been impressive uh, to, to note the who's who on who they have really associated themselves with and, and really... Uh, buttoned up their properties right next door to some of the most prolific in the regions, especially the Athabasca with the uh, demand over uranium, the need for uranium and the push toward a greener future to power uh, our, our world. Uh, uranium has come into massive favor. Now, I think the stock has suffered by um, account of Stallion Discovering being so engaged in their uh, property acquisition, as well as completing their recent survey, which we are awaiting results of, but do not currently have. Once those results are actually released to the general public, I think we're going to have a better idea of what this three quarter million acre portfolio of property that Stallion has been so aggressive to acquire in these prolific regions. And I think it's going to be incumbent upon share owners to note this digression in the stock price as not a bad thing, rather a, a buying opportunity on the value side of the house. I don't foresee that the results of these surveys that were ran are going to turn back nil results. As a matter of fact, I'm bullish and optimistic on what they're able to share with regard to strategic conductors and targets, areas of focus to really start to uh, hone in on uh, and really understand what if not multiple deposits are available in the Athabasca region and really start to define what has been difficult to define for stallion discoveries up to this point. Now, once those results are turned out, I do anticipate a positive catalyst in the stock price as stallion discovery has digressed to an anemic 10 million US market cap trading at 15 cents on the uh, OTC quality board market here uh, on our US exchanges. So kind of a quiet period for Stallion Discoveries. I thought I'd shake it up a little bit, come out with an anticipatory uh, video. I have no idea when those uh, drill results are going to be forthcoming for the general audience. Uh, I'm, I'm quite certain that they are inevitable, but whether or not they're going to be a couple of days, a couple of weeks, or even upwards of a few months to interpret that data is yet to be determined by Stallion Discoveries at their discretion. However, the no news in the market and viewing all of the OTC QB stocks as having a problem with access to capital, which Stallion Discoveries is not in that camp, they are well um, well uh, uh, financed up for uh, future operations. I think they've been inadvertently lumped in with a category of a company that is struggling, um, and that is just not the case. Uh, Stallion is making huge moves. It's made huge land acquisitions, and it has just recently completed the large survey over their uh, property in the Athabasca region. And I think that's going to be the value stimulus going forward. For those of you guys who have not sat through the Stallion Discoveries coverage, uh, I am in fact uh, paid uh, to provide awareness services for Stallion Discoveries. Those disclaimers are made possible for you in the description below. You can review those disclaimers at your leisure. Uh, I, for one, do not own uh, company stock 
in Stallion Discovers, but actually am intimately covering the story and may end up opting to take a position in the company in the near future. So with that, guys, we're going to jump into the investor slide deck and presentation, go over the most current updates as they are known to the general public. Stay with us, guys, and we will jump in and see what exciting things are going on at Stallion Discoveries. So Stallion Discoveries sits in an interesting place from a value proposition, having the stock price digress to uh, levels not seen in a number of months Stallion Discoveries is currently trading at just over a $10 million U.S. Uh, market cap and trades a, on the U.S. markets OTCQB under the ticker symbol STLNF at a stock price that would see it at $0.15 cents U.S. Now this only is in the face of some pending information, uh, some interpretation of the survey work that was just recently complete within the last six months on their large land package that they have. I think this is a real disconnect and I think the market is really missing something and I think it will is setting up to be a huge surprise when Stallion actually does uh, go ahead and report those results of those findings in the Athabasca region, uh, in the prolific region of the Athabasca and the vicinity of those uh, companies up there that have been proven uh, to produce massive deposits of uranium. So stand by for rolls on that. We will be eagerly awaiting the interp of that uh, VTAM survey that uh, was just flown over the last couple of months. Here is a snapshot of the Athabasca Basin and the deposits that um, Stallion Discoveries are uh, acquainted with, both on the eastern and west western sides. Just a few statistics to note here, the Athabasca is one of the most prolific regions in the world. Um, it produces 13.2% of the total world's uranium uh, supply, uh, as well as the grade being 20x that of other deposits in other uranium jurisdictions. So it is the who's who. It sports the likes of Cameco with a 15 billion market cap, everybody is aware, and as well as Next Gen Energy. Uh, with a $2.5 billion market cap in the same region that uh, Stallion Discoveries is looking to play in. So very interesting to see the story develop and see the results of the latest surveys that were ran uh, by Stallion Discoveries on their huge land package in the region. And Hathor Exploration was in charge of running the uh, survey work and is in charge of doing the interp on the survey work for Stallion Discoveries. Um, they are a who's who in the region, have been used multiple times for major discoveries in the region, and we will be eagerly awaiting the results of those uh, test results when they're ready to uh, turn out to the general public. And this is just a snapshot of Stallion Discoveries, uh, mere three quarter uh, million acres of their significant land package in the Athabasca. And we're, we're going after a resource here that is in high demand. Um, with the energy uh, shift toward more of a greener and sustainable future, nuclear will, will certainly be forefront in that discussion in powering the world's tomorrow. And to establish a land package this significant in the region only speaks to the conviction that Stallion has in the region as well as the abutment to some of the existing who's who in the region. I mentioned a couple uh, but there are a number of companies up there that are established, producing uh, uranium suppliers to the world market, and Stallion has aligned with those players in the region. Now, in the western Athabasca here gives you a, a closer snapshot of the property um, and the unexplored potential there. Now, it is, of course, unexplored until we can get these survey results turned back we can understand a little bit more about the opportunity that Stallion is sitting on. And I think that's probably part of the unknown that does not uh, bode well for these young uh, junior miners in the space. When there are unknowns, it's just an excuse to drive the stock down but by a number of different factors, um, none of which are Stallion Discovery's fault. They've been moving in the positive direction. It's just unfortunate to see the stock kind of fall out of favor here. Um, at the most recessed levels that I have uh, seen since covering the company. 
down close to 85% over the last year and trading at a real anemic level here. Um, I only look the further that it goes down as more of a buying opportunity here and the catalyst to come when those uh, positive surveys work that has been uh, completed now for about a month um, on this large land package uh, is finalized and released for public disposition. And here is the tried and true roadmap to discovery. Stallion's not looking to reinvent the process here. The VTEM survey is complete. Uh, the conductors interpreting those anomalies and then prioritizing the different target zones and, and, and then prioritizing the target surveys in each of those respective zones um, has been the tried and true roadmap to discovery. Stallion Discoveries is looking to follow that same pedigree uh, in the region and it will continue again to be an unknown until we get the data back on the surveys uh, on Stallion's large land package that they have ownership over. Here's a snapshot of where Stallion sits with its market cap. I've mentioned probably needs to do a little bit more in way of transparency on what they sit on. I think the unknown has hurt the stock uh, and we will soon have those answers on how big of an opportunity we're potentially looking at with Stallion Discoveries as it reflects to the peers in the region. But you can see even since this slide was released, the market cap has significantly slipped um, down to about 11 million U.S. Uh, trading uh, on the U.S. markets at around 15 cents at the time of this video, 15 cents U.S., so I, I think that there's going to be a value added jump when the results of this, if you are bullish on the, the potential for the drill results, and when those are res, uh, released, I don't think the stock has any choice but to kind of re-rate itself um, with the investment that's went into the survey and now the newly understood um, uh, understanding of what Stallion is actually sitting on with their large land package. Stallion Discoveries has gold assets to boast in the states, both in Idaho and Nevada. Uh, we will cover those in brief here in just a moment in the following couple of slides. So Horse Heaven is the first project in the states. It's uh, in Idaho. It is bordering Perpetua Resources which is valued at a mere 400 million market cap. I mentioned that Stallion Discoveries is flirting with the 10 million market cap, and you can see there that their border runs right in conjunction with Perpetua Resources. They own Horse Heaven outright. This is a resource that uh, is going to be amazing uh, as they start to explore and get the um, exploration ongoing to really see what type of property that they're sitting on but in true stallion discovery fashion here setting up next to the who's who in the region um, and and really setting up a nice l large land package um, in a proven jurisdiction uh, like perpetual resources and just the same here richmond mountain is located in nevada bordering i-80 gold corp which is also valued at a mere 850 million dollars in market cap stallion discoveries is right next door knocking on the door and trying to get a piece of what has been proven out to be a very lucrative area a very lucrative region prolific as it might stand um, and it's going to be interesting again to see what type of survey work is done on this area to see what kind of uh, results they have returned back and maybe potentially provide a little bit more clarity on the value proposition and what Stallion holds on these gold assets. Here you can see as covering the company, the stock has really slipped as low as it's ever been. And I wanted to come out with this video in a time where I felt like the value proposition is only getting richer as the stock has slipped. Um, with the uh, recent survey work and the investment in those survey results, I think no news has hurt the stock. And when the news does pop, I would consider a potential re-rate and catalyst to the upside once we understand the results of those that survey work and we're able to extrapolate whether or not Stallion is maybe potentially sitting on one of those large, if not multiple large discoveries in the region. And I know that they're hard at work interpreting that data and we will be eagerly awaiting those results. And hopefully it can spur a turnaround in what I consider to be a deep discounted 
uh, uh, stock price now, presuming that a bullish uh, report that comes out is only going to turn the stock back north again and get it back up to those historical levels of valuation where the company deserves to be. So Stallion follows a very disciplined and proven game plan here. We've talked about it a little, little bit here, but to establish their properties next to uh, neighboring properties that are uh, proven producers in the region acquiring large land packages at reasonable valuations uh, setting themselves up quickly on getting in there and exploring the properties uh, and looking to interpret that data is doing all the right things that a junior miner should do and a junior exploration company at that should be doing and I'd like to see these results uh, turn back and, and, and see the value proposition really come into its own and start to define what we're actually looking at with this large land package and what type of anomalies uh, could be existing within this large uh, property portfolio that Stallion boasts. So Stallion Discoveries is always available to answer any questions that you might have. You can reach out to Lisa Stewart. Uh, at stalliondiscoveries.com, the website and the uh, link to Lisa's email is there provided for you. On behalf of the channel, I'd like to thank you guys for following through this update on the investor slide deck. I'm eagerly awaiting the results of what I do consider to be a potential stimulus and a catalyst for the company going forward. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. So we've come out of the investor slide deck here for Stallion Discoveries. Thank you so much for joining me for the totality of the video. Um, obviously, like to be reporting out on stocks that are going up, but the market right now is really volatile. It's discounting all of the stocks that have perceived weakness, and it exacerbates that weakness to the downside. I think that's a real mistake with Stallion Discoveries. I think those opportunistic investors have an opportunity to look at pending report outs, of the Athabasca survey work that has just been completed in its totality. That uh, survey work is being interpreted as we speak, and we will be anxiously awaiting the results of that sur survey work. And I do believe that if there is positive there in the survey results, that it will be a positive catalyst for the stock. And we'll see a little bit of a basing, maybe even some appreciation to a, a more conducive valuation for the uh, large land package that Stallion has in both the Athabasca region as well as here in the States. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the video. Leave your comments at the bottom. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy content like these on undiscovered companies that are doing wonderful things under the radar. We deliver those on the channel. Hit the thumbs up and, and like button for the video. And thank you so much again for joining me for this video. And as always, good luck in your investment future.